Hello, this is Enterprise Headlines. The Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, said it generated 4 trillion naira from tax revenue collected in 2017. The Executive Director, FIRS, Mr. Tunde Fola, disclosed this during a court visit to the Palace of the Oba of Lagos, Rioan Akulu. The collection, according to a statement issued by the agency, represents 82.38% of the government's target of 4.89 trillion naira for the year. Mr. Tunde said the FIRS collects revenue on behalf of the tiers of government. The performance of the FIRS depends on the amount of revenue that is being divided on a monthly basis between the federal government, state and local government. The president of Nigeria Liquefied Petroleum Gas Association, NLPGA, Nuhu Yakobu, has identified the LPG sector as very strategic, capable of stimulating economic growth in the country. According to him, Nigeria is a net exporter of LPG. We produce more than 5 million metric tons of LPG per annum and we are expecting over 4 million metric tons. Nigeria only consumes about 50,000 metric tons and we have the capacity to consume 5 million tons. He said that there will be training for operators, managers and supervisors on the safe operation of equipment according to global best practices, adding that another training and certification of installers of equipment and piping systems were being planned. Energy and infrastructure conglomerate Sahara Group has called for an increased investment in power projects from Nigeria and the rest of Africa to match the anticipated growth in demand for electricity and support Africa's drive for economic diversification and industrial development. The executive director and co-founder, Mr. Tony Cole, would be bringing this initiative to global attention as he is expected to form part of the continent's private sector leadership delegation to the 2018 World Economic Forum annual gathering in Davos, Switzerland. Cole maintained that the continent requires more support for ongoing regional pool activity that is gaining traction through bilateral agreements existing between some West African countries and East African countries. Tanzania business community members said the government's decision to set up special decks that will collect feedback on the progress towards improving the country's business environment is good. Speaking at the weekend during the third high-level public-private dialogue on doing business in Tanzania held over the weekend, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Industries, Trade and Investment, Professor Alessante Ole Gebro, said the government has set up the decks in a move aimed at enabling the private sector to play a key role in supporting the goal of building an industrial economy. The meeting, which deliberated on ways of improving the business and investment climate in the country, brought together senior officials from the public and private sectors. A UK regulator is recommending that the government block Rupert Murdoch's planned takeover of Sky TV in its current form. The Competition and Market Authority said in a statement that the proposed deal by Murdoch's 21st century folks is likely to be against the public interest because it would reduce the number of people with control of media businesses. The authority proposed steps it said 21st century folks could take to address the concerns, including spinning of Sky News. The British government asked the regulator in September to examine the takeover because of questions over 21st century folks' genuine commitment to broadcasting standards and the increased influence the deal would give to Murdoch's family over British media. Moving down to sports, Manchester United have topped the table of the world's 20 richest football clubs for the second year in a row and 10th time overall, says Deloitte. Its football money league, based on season 2016-17, to also shows the combined revenue of the 20 clubs has risen 6% to 7.9 billion euros, a new record.
Real Madrid, which held top spot for 11 years, were second and Barcelona third. There were a record 10 English Premier League clubs in top 20. The number in the top 30 was up from 12 to 14. The list only looks at revenue accrued and does not take into account club debts. This year's battle for first place was the closest yet, with just 1.7 million euros separating Manchester United and Real Madrid. And that's it on Enterprise Airlines.